think I'm uniquely suited to comment on this since I've done both jobs. This is not meant to disparage NCOs in any way. I was an NCO for like five years. I got nothing but love and respect for you guys. There's a couple reasons why officers get paid more. But the primary one that I want to focus on here is the assumption of risk. NCOs really don't assume any risk. NCOs are the doers. As long as they do within the parameters that have been set by the officers, they won't get in trouble. Things can go really terrible. Things can go really poorly. Things can get damaged. People can get hurt. As long as things were done within the parameters set, NCOs won't get in trouble. Officers, on the other hand, not the case. Officers assume the risk. Officers are responsible for whatever the unit fail does or does not do, right? Fails or accomplishes. And I'll tell you, having been an officer for just two years now, uh, an E5 isn't isn't doing enough to to warrant lieutenant pay. A lot of people don't see what lieutenants are doing in the background. Um, they don't they don't see how much work they're putting in. I will tell you that I think there's definitely a lesson to be learned here. And I don't know your background, so I might I could be wrong. But commenting on this kind of stuff when you haven't done both jobs, just it just leaves you open. Like, you're commenting from a place of ignorance. 